It's that time of year when mice will be trying to move into our houses ahead of the cold winter months. But according to a local entomologist, there are some easy steps you can take now to prevent an, an infestation. Western Mass News reporter Sabrina Riley has more. Caught on camera, a calm living room scene in Western Mass disrupted by the classic scenario of a cat chasing a mouse. Keep in mind, it's not uh, Tom and Jerry. But American Pest Solution owner and entomologist Bob Russell tells Western Mass News this situation is nothing to mess with. This is serious business now. You're talking about viruses and long-term injury to people as a result of this little cute mouse. He says over the past few years, the mouse population in Western Mass has grown. The Northeast has the most mice issues uh, across the country. No one deals with the amount of mice and entry points that we deal with here in New England. And Russell tells Western Mass News that mice populations follow resources. And in the fall, things like falling berries and seeds help feed that growth. Populations are going to be very high. It's, it was a great summer for them. It was a soft winter last year. This is just carrying over to this fall. But as temperatures cool off more and more, the heightened population will be looking for refuge. As soon as overnight temperatures are below 45 degrees. You know, I think our call volume shifts like 80% to mice. And while you might think mice need a substantial hole to get into your home, Russell tells Western Mass News their size can be deceiving. With a mouse, you're talking about a hole the size of a dime. As long as they can get their skull through, they're getting in. That's why his advice is to find and seal all places a mouse can squeeze in. Seal up openings, uh, hire a professional if it's not something you want to do, but uh, you really need to pay attention because a well-fed cat is not going to be rodent control. For Western Mass News, I'm Sabrina Riley.